In the bag this man is holding, there is a human head. The police under the roof are looking for him, while he is walking right on top of them. This is the first movie that Wu Jing has directed and acted as the lead role. The scene that he fights against a hundred of men in the rain comes from this movie Legendary Assassin. Bo used to be a mercenary, and he has no family or friends. In a lightning night, Bo is watching like a wolf watching its prey. His action is so fast that no one could recognize him. This man comes with a broadsword after hearing the noise. Bo slowly turns up behind him. He easily dodges all the hit from the sword. The man rushes to Bo again. Bo hits his knee, making him fall on the ground. This man does not give up, he stands up. But Bo breaks his fingers. When he stands up again, Bo jumps on his shoulders and finishes him with a round kick. After that, he cuts off his head by the broadsword. Bo intends to leave this island by boat. But there is no boat departing because of the storm. He has to wait here for a while. When looking for an accommodation, Bo saves a girl. She accidentally rips off his shirt, she is Holly. When she is mending the shirt, Bo discovers that Holly is a cop. Holly invites him for a meal as a thank you. In this moment, the news is about three robbers who are on the run. Holly finds that there are three people sitting nearby with suspicious looks. As soon as she comes to question, a man grabs her neck so hard. Bo tries not to be involved in this. But he has to save Holly after consideration. However, he is taken down by another man. The big guy is constantly attacking Bo. Bo dodges many hits but finally he is caught by that guy. Bo uses his strength to break his fingers. He then uses his body as a momentum to jump up and knock him down. One more time, he jumps to hit his chest. Meanwhile, Holly is pretty pathetic. She is absolutely overwhelmed by this robber. Holly can only throw the powder into his face. She is kicked away when he opens his eyes. After that, he grabs to break her back. Hearing Holly screaming, Bo comes to knock him down and saves Holly. The strange thing is that the other robber is still eating noodles. They assume that he is the leader of the bandits. Nevertheless, Bo gives him a kick, making him vomit all the noodles. Holly wants Bo to go to the station for testimony. He agrees after hesitating for a moment. In another scene, Fat Wing is questioning his men. Did anybody see the assassin? A man only remembers the assassin wearing a bag. He informs his sister-in-law, Madame Ma, about this information. She orders him to arrest the man who killed her husband right away. Bo is now teaching Holly how to protect herself. They are interrupted by a policeman coming. He informs Holly that someone just complained of a dog barking. Bo understands that dogs only bark when there are strangers. It must be because the person killed by him is discovered. Holly pulls the cloth and sees a headless body. As soon as she tries to call the station, she is stopped by the mafia. In this moment, Bo comes up. With skillful and definitive movements, he rapidly saves Holly and disappears in the night. Some mafia men are trying to hide the revealed truth. Fat Wing gives Madame Ma a call. She then orders that they must not leave her husband's body overnight at the police station. Suddenly, many gangsters come to the police station to report the crime. During the chaos, they pour gasoline on two police officers. They have an intention of stealing the body. This is becoming more serious. Senior officers dispatch many policemen to the island. The storm is over, Bo is about to leave. But he realizes that there are many police on the street. One of them suspects that Bo is the killer. They start surrounding him. Bo easily jumps up to avoid the chase. He then successfully steals someone's ID card. The police investigate the one whose ID card is stolen. While Bo easily gets through the checking gate. However, the police still stop him based on his shirt's color and bag. When all police come, Bo kicks the back toward them with calm. Holly does not accept that Bo is the killer. She steps forward to check the bag. She slowly pulls the zipper. When seeing a human head-shaped object, she closes her eyes to pray. But when the cloth is pulled up, she is relieved. That it is just a bowling ball. The two people are exchanging their numbers and saying goodbye. After boarding, Bo is still followed by Fat Wing. No sooner does Madame Ma call him than Bo puts the bag on his lap. The boat is about to dock, Fat Wing's men are really close. Bo decides to use another way. He is walking on the roof to stay away from their attention. He is suddenly hit by a car driven by one of Fat Wing's men on the street. The bowling ball is broken, revealing a human head inside. Bo is now pursued by both mafia and police. He takes down the driver and steals the car. Holly wonders whether she should call him. In this moment, she is arrested by Fat Wing's people. Bo's phone is ringing, it's Holly's number. He has a bad feeling about this. Madame Ma uses Holly as a trap to lure Bo. There is only one consequence for the assassin who fell in love. Before joining the movie Wolf Warrior, Wu Jing has been very good at fighting. 
This is the first time he is both director and lead role. This scene is like the Dark Kingdom. To save his love, Bo arrives and fights against a hundred of enemies alone. Madame Ma hits Holly with a sword and the fight begins. Bo tries to save Holly, but he is surrounded by a crowd. He only has one way to fight back. He climbs up to take them down one by one. Nonetheless, Bo's strength does not last long. Being surrounded by the Mafia, Bo uses his extraordinary power to defeat them all. Madame Ma hits Holly's body again. Bo is kicked down when his mind is disrupted. The enemies keep coming while his leg is seriously injured. Bo does not give up, he screams with anger. He is fiercely fighting against the people for his love. Eventually, his arm is broken by a gangster. Bo uses his head to break the shoulder of that man. They fall down at the same time. Madame Ma finally shows herself, she wants to revenge for her husband. She wants Bo to experience the feeling of being beheaded. In this moment, Holly is trying to get out. When Madame Ma swings the broadsword, Bo stays unharmed thanks to the wolf tooth on his chest. He then flips his body to grasp the broadsword, giving Holly more time. Holly finally gets out of the rope. But in the fight, she is grabbed by some mafia men. Madame stabs the broadsword toward Holly, but Bo covers her with his body. When the assassin is in love, his life does not matter anymore. Bo is gone, like the storm is gone with nothing left. Years later, Holly figures out that Bo used to be a mercenary. He was once saved by a female doctor. When he got the news that this female doctor was murdered by a mafia crew, Bo hunted that man down and killed him. Because he wanted to comfort the soul of that doctor. Wu Jing in this time, was known as Jet Li's successor. This was such a good thing for him a man had a new career in cinema. However, years later, it became a fixed stereotype that he never got out of. This movie had him as the director and main role. It gave him a new direction. It was also the movie that connected Wu Jing and Selena Jade. Later, she has become the lead actress in Wolf Warrior 2. This is the end of the movie today, thank you for watching. Goodbye and see you later.